The next segment of our morning, we're going to get a chance to hear from some customers and how they're using 3D experience to transform their companies and change the shape of the industries in which they operate. One organization that has impacted all of us without question is Microsoft. And our next speaker, Chris Coyler, is going to join forces with our own Dassault Systems Vice President of High Tech, Olivier Ribet, and we're going to see a live demo. Are you guys ready for that? All right, so these guys are a little nervous, so let's bring them on stage and make them feel very welcome. Are you nervous? No, not at all. Come on. Thanks, Ken. Hi, everyone. Good morning. We are going to spend the next... Oh, great. We have more minutes than planned. We are going to spend the next 10, 12 minutes to talk to you about how the 3D Experience platform and Surface Pro 3 are a good fit. And to do that, we will walk you through a story, the story of a new product introduction. Yeah, and what we really want to do is in this time is take you from ideation all the way to go to market. As Monica talked about experiences, we want to deliver an experience and we want, to look at the, we want to look at it from a way how mobility is changing how we're able to go from ideation to go to market. But with that, what are we going to be doing? What, what are we designing? I mean, let's put some clues on the screen. It's a pretty nice piece of engineering that we're going to talk about. So here are three clues that might help some of you find what this product is all about. I can just tell you that there is some mechanics in it, some electronics, software, systems engineering. Well, and I, think, and I think everybody uses one of these most likely once a week, sometimes more than once a week. Anybody, so, anybody have be? a guess? They are good. They are good. This is a washing machine. And that is a state-of-the-art one that we're going to be. Is that the one we're going to be doing? Uh, this is not really the edge of experience yet. Probably not Internet of Things kind of compliant. Probably a dumb object. Yeah, but I that think, smart connector. I object. think that is not going to deliver the experience we want. Definitely not. So what can we do about that, Chris? I think we can go and we can really think through the experience of how we build a world-class washing machine. And through the next 10 minutes, we're going to walk you through everything from how we invent to go to market and how we actually go and build a communication plan and launch this world-class washing machine. So this washing machine, we call it pure motion. Yeah, that's kind of lame, but OK. It's pure motion washing machine. And uh, this is what when uh, gigs do marketing. So anyhow. Um, so let's go, let's go with a quick demo of uh, the first step, which is to invent the product. Uh, you heard early on in the, in the presentation from uh, Bill Taylor that this is actually pretty important to stay on your toes, look at the competition, look at the information out there, and detect and spot new ideas, new concepts, new trends. And here we are in the 3D experience platform. I am uh, Vincent. Uh, Vincent is a product manager, and he's looking at everything that is made available to him to start to think about this new pure motion washing machine. He's looking at the trends uh, in the press, in the news, looking at the competition, trying to analyze uh, with NetVibes. This is NetVibes, uh, by the way, right there. Olivia, uh, where, do you, where does all this information reside? It's really got some nice contextual information. Where does it all I mean, come It's from? coming from the web, from blogs, from news groups, from information feeds that the company connects to. So you have a mix of public information and private information that can be matched up all together and made accessible at your fingertip. That is, you know, when I think about the notion of you think about what you, what's possible, and you take information and think about what's possible. The next thing is, how do you think about design? So when you think about design, you need to immediately uh, look at um, how you connect with all of this information out there and start immediately to shape up uh, and design, for example, in Katia, uh, natural sketch right there. And here we have Jean, who is an industrial designer, on his way to the airport. Uh, starting to shape very simply, very naturally on the Surface Pro uh, in Katia, the shape of this new machine. So it's interesting because he's able to take and, and think about design anywhere, any place, any time. Correct. So right there he's in Germany, he's meeting with uh, Carl, who is a mechanical engineer, 
And both of them are starting to cooperate, collaborate on this new washing machine design, starting to agree and converge uh, together on, on a shape, on a trim, on colors, on patterns. And where's all this information being stored? Uh, in the cloud, baby, in the cloud. So this is a great example of the way we think about mobile first, cloud first. Absolutely. Taking it in terms of how we can create world-class design. He's also taking and utilizing a mobile form factor, but then using both collaboration as well as putting on yeah, larger Yeah, look at screens. that. They are connected to the rest of the team, and the team is in Sweden right now, and they are also connected through the cloud, looking at one single version of the truth. So everything that is being modified or agreed upon or changed in one place of the world is immediately populated elsewhere, and everybody is working in one integrated innovative process. Yeah, this is, this is really, really impactful because it sets us up to really think about kind of where we go in terms of the next Look step. that. Is that cool or what? That is the building of the first ends of a world-class washing machine. Okay, so we start to have a um, pretty good design. The team is agree with it, and is, he's happy with it. And at that point, they said, you know what, let's move to the next stage, which is to engineer this piece of hardware. So why don't you just walk us through kind of how we're going to take advantage of mobility to help us do some of the engineering work. Absolutely. So as you can see on this little video uh, starting now, um, the first step is really to have the mechanical engineers defining the mechanical structure. So then they define key performance parameters for this machine, the laundry weight, the spring stiffness, the damper coefficient. And as a result of that, they can pretty quickly simulate the behavior of the machine and look at it as a system. So once they have done that, they unfortunately spot some potential problems with vibrations. And immediately, uh, the mechanical engineers, or the systems engineer in this case, want to decide to have a quick look at the full washing machine life cycle, uh, wash cycle, and start to understand from a system standpoint where the issue could be. So here they are. Uh, they are looking at uh, the vibration uh, that could damage, you know, this little piece of yeah, plastic that's, around. Yeah, that's the billow. That's you have to be billow. really careful about that billow. Not the belly, because during the rehearsal, I said the belly, and he was making fun of me, because the belly and the bellow <laughs> is not the same. So anyhow, private joke. So right there, they are able to uh, uh, contextually and real time do the system simulation and the mechanical simulation in one single place, uh, once again in the 3D experience platform. So at that point, uh, they start to realize that their system is pretty robust, pretty solid. They just, don't, they just want to do a final simulation specifically of the below in Simulia. And here you see the result of this simulation. So the team of engineering gets together, mechanical systems and simulation engineers, to look at the, at the below and they say, okay, I think that we have fixed the problem. We are ready for manufacturing now. Well, and, and as we move, we've, you've seen design, and engineering to set us up to be able to take that and build a world-class manufacturing. When we look in the manufacturing side, what we think about is as the production runs and our world-class washing machine is being run. So we've built a world-class manufacturing plant. We've got the washing machine leaving the line. And when you're building a big durable consumer goods like a washing machine, it's really important to do end of production inspection. And what we use is we use the Delmia Preso application that allows us to do um, physical inspection, annotate on those inspections, and you can actually take an inspection side that then kicks off a set of a collaboration so that we can fix any defect coming out of the line. The second part of manufacturing is, is the ability to give rich contextual information across your manufacturing environment. And what you're seeing here is the Aprizo Delmia application. This is a Windows 8 application. It has all the key performance indicators that you need in terms of to run an operation. It also can drill down and look at each plant. In uh -oh. this case, as a problem in Munich. Yeah, so clearly in Munich, we're seeing some issues in that side. What the application allows you to do is drill down inside of Munich. And once I drill down in Munich, I can see my scrap percentage is trending up. I can take a look in terms of my scrap and get clearly contextual information to understand what's taking place. And I have the ability then to be proactive instead of reactive. And the beauty is that you are feeding this application, this Windows 8 application that is truly mobile, with all the information systems, all the data sources that exist in the company 
um, from a manufacturing standpoint, and you can have a 360-degree view real-time of what's going on. No, absolutely. And it takes, the, it takes the ability to take a mobile device into manufacturing in really new and interesting ways. And this is the way we're looking at it working in terms of with okay. uh, the Domeo Prezo application. Very good. Thanks for that, Chris. So I think that we're getting pretty close to having a relatively reliable product. But do we really have an experience? No, we don't have an experience yet because the product standalone, out of context, will be probably not as proper, probably not well used and well marketed and well maintained as if everything is thought through before. So the first thing is to say, you know, it's a washing machine. What do you put in a washing machine? You put laundry, you put water, and you put some... Well, well if you're going to build a world-class washing machine, you're going to want to have a partnership with your detergent supplier. And what we've done is looked at how do we drive performance with our detergent with our washing machine, not only to how you get performance in terms of the outcome, but also we don't want to damage or degrade anything inside of the washing machine. We're doing this. So Monica was talking during the previous presentation of uh, Acceleris. So yeah. this is uh, Acceleris this Software, who is now part of uh, the BioVR brand and the system. And this is what you're seeing in the electronic lab notebook. So think of this as the way a researcher can collaborate, uh, establish one point of record for all information related to this project. It also is the work that we're doing with, with um, the BioVia team to build a native Windows 8 app that will be lit up through a Surface Pro 3. This is an example of that. So it gives you an even richer set of contextual way to capture information. It also gives you a richer way then to bring in um, different levels. You can bring in CATIA um, images. You can bring in any other 3D images to go out and uh, and uh, optimize. That's great. So now we start to have uh, everything fixed on the, on the detergent side, which means that this machine will work perfectly fine. But let's make sure that right before launching this machine, the, the people who will do the installation, the people who will do the maintenance are properly trained yeah. in advance to it, do a good job. And it's a really good point because you know what maintenance people love? They love these devices. They love the ability to have a mobile device bigger than a phone fo form factor that allows them to have really precise information on number one, how they install, and number one, number two, how they do any break fix. And what you're seeing here is the ability for us to build in a 3D way to give really good information to, a, to an installer around issues that he can go and make corrections in a way then that he can bring this with him so there's not a bunch of paper knowledge in that transfer. Because with a new product like this, it's really important that we create a support mechanism that our installation installers can go take advantage and make sure it's a world-class experience. Yeah, that's pretty customer. critical, but you have support fixed, but now is probably a good time to start to think about selling uh, this product. And to sell this product, you need to go uh, in Enovia, uh, in the merchandising uh, elements of Enovia, and start to manage your product portfolio, manage your product lines. And based on all of this information in your PLM system and all the information coming from the CAD, uh, start to generate what could be the experience in the store. So here I am I, uh, shaping as a product marketing engineer uh, everything that I need uh, to display. Uh, my pure motion washing machine in context in the store and start to prepare uh, because, the visit. Because there's no need to make a world-class washing machine if it's not unless selling. you don't have a world-class go-to-market strategy. And right there, you see that once everything has been set up, uh, we can equip the entire sales force who is going to visit the best buyer of the world uh, with a tablet, with this model coming straight from the 3D experience platform that will help them to convince the retailers that everything that they are doing to launch this product uh, is on track and that the launch will be a perfect launch. So this is really, really critical to have this last mile of product launch where everything needs to be buttoned up from a marketing and sales and retail execution. Standpoint. But the final thing we need to do is how do we, how do, we do our advertising campaign? How Correct. do we make and make this visible across the world? 
Yeah, and here again, uh, in the 3D experience platform, and Monica talks about it, uh, talked about it earlier on, you can, with the 3D Excite uh, technologies and solutions, go straight from CATIA, go straight from SOLIDWORKS uh, CAD model, and start to generate all the visuals that you will need for marketing materials, for brochures, for point of sales. And here we are, you see um, a first visual that shows uh, the fact that thanks to the 3D experience platform, uh, the washing machine can be massively customized because we can manage all the variants of this product. So we can propose plenty of colors and, and plenty of options for consumers to buy from. So that's the first visual. Not bad, but not great. So let's look at the second one. So this one, one. this one getting better because this one shows that, yeah, we are probably getting close to a rocket science type of engineering. And God, who knew that uh, one day Sandra Bullock will be featured on an advertising with Dassault system. Uh, and then the last one, last but not least, is my favorite one. This is, the, I, this is my favorite as well. So this one is really uh, telling you that this machine is extremely innovative, extremely uh, different from the other ones, and that it's coming pretty soon nearby your store, and uh, you should probably book yours. So that's the end of the demonstration. I just would like to wrap it up with the next slide um, to invite you to stop by the booth that we have over there. So come visit. Uh, we will show you the 3D experience platform uh, in action. We will be uh, also able to show you why and how Surface Pro is a perfect fit for it. And if you want to know more about uh, high-tech industry and what we do, besides washing machine, we do many, many, many other things. There is a high-tech track session tomorrow afternoon, and uh, we hope to see you there. Thanks again. Have Thank a fantastic you. forum. Cheers.